Hello, and I'm the Knot Man, and today I want to talk about survival knives. I've got quite a few in my collection. I'd like to show you a few today. This is my Swiss Army knife I've had for several years. Multi-functional, nice knife that I've had it a long time. It's a very good Swiss Army knife. Swiss Army knives are probably the best knives in the world, but I've got a nice little collection here of knives, so I'm going to show you some all. This is the big one. I've got a mini Swiss Army knife, which I take out and about with me, with obviously scissors, little blade on it, and a bit of a flat-headed screwdriver. Nice little tool to that. Let's move on. I've got a couple of military ones. My grandfather in 1939 was issued with this. Uh, he used to use this when he was out and about, and he went off to um, Europe and did get all the way to Germany at the end of the war. And as a young boy, he gave me this as a memento. So I always remember my granddad because of this nice little tool, and it was a military one. So it's got a bit of history to it. I've also got another knife, very similar, used by sailors. Nice long blade, flexible. This on the end is for putting in between ropes and untying knots, which as a knot man, I've used this many times to undo knots. So that's a handy little tool to have. I uh, spent a bit of time down at Bobington Tank Museum, which is down in Dorset, which has got a, a tiger tank and that. And uh, because I was down there, the head manager actually gave me this. As you can see on it, it does say the tank museum so I was given this as a gift because I did some time down there helping down at the museum so that's not too bad nice little blade on it like a Swiss Army knife but it's green pocket size bit of fun I move on to a few couple of other items I've got <laughs> this really isn't like a, a, a combat survival weapon or anything but it's actually a bottle opener Bop! and corkscrew for wine cutting around the top of a cork and I'm doing a few bits and pieces like beer cans but it's something to have in the cupboard, bit survival. Right, I've got a couple of other things that are quite interesting. I had a friend called Laura Vincent who was a lieutenant in the uh, American Marine Corps and this is a sort of knife that she used to carry uh, when she was training to be a jet pilot with the Marines. Very difficult, as you can see, it's got the uh, old uh, scissors and it, it's got the old magnifying glass here, which is good for starting fires. I'll see, can you see that okay? Yeah, this has got a lot of things. This is called like a fisherman's friend. It's not a Swiss army knife, but there's a lot going on here. Very nice, and it's all like in stainless steel. So this won't rust. That's a nice little tool. And another little favorite of mine, this was used in one of the Terminator films. Very nice, very nice, lots going on here. This attachment here, which is quite interesting, when I got it, I got a set of bits to it, which you can actually put into it and turn this knife into something a little bit different if you want to use it to do a crosshead screw or something. So it's got attachments. So this is a nice one. I'll fold it up for you. So there you go. And of course here, you've got a nice pair of pliers where you never know they can come in handy for cutting wire. As you can see, there's a wire attachment. So I've got quite a lot of survival stuff here. And uh, in another one of my um, little updates, I'm gonna show you some other stuff. But for now, there's quite a few knives here, as I say. Some of these are very interesting. Some have got some history, family history. Some of what I take out and about in the woods. And of course, the little one which is very good. Some people call it a lady's knife, but actually you can have that in your pocket and it's quite legal in the UK because it's only got a one inch blade that doesn't lock. So that's a part of the uh, rules in the United Kingdom, which you must abide by. Some of these you can't really take out, but they, if you go camping in that, they're quite good. If you get permission by farmers to go on their land. So I hope you've enjoyed this little film. I'm gonna upload it. If you've got any questions, uh, send us a message and uh, we'll be back to you soon with some more interesting stuff. So the, as the Knotman always says, take care, be good and get collecting all sorts. Cheers.